Hello and this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Forum Station. Today I will teach you a very special uh, tutorial on logo designing and this is the logo that I have created using Adobe Illustrator CC. So then after creating this logo then I will use this logo in the after effect and you can see a really a nice effect. Then I will use this logo as a moving logo and uh, you can put here logo name or company name here and I think it's really a nice tutorial for you and I will make this tutorial into parts so let's start from the illustrator I will go to illustrator and then okay uh, I will go to this rectangle tool in rectangle tool choose this polygon tool now in center click shift alt mm, that's nice okay now choose this tool selection tool click on there and you will whenever you move the mouse you will get this rotate button just rotate it shift press shift on the keyboard so that I will get uh, 90 percent 90 degree angle okay now I will choose this pen tool now make a line here control Z Okay, no select it, fill it with I don't want any stroke, I want uh, this green color, choose any one of this color. Now click on here, choose this pathfinder and I will divide it each part. Now go to this direct selection tool no. okay that's fine it is uh, divided into all segment okay now choose this choose this the direction uh, direct selection tool click on there no. press shift on the keyboard click on there now I will fill it with uh, color mm. now I want to merge this I want to merge both this, this, merge, this and this, merge, that's nice. Okay, now select this, go to gradient tool, now choose gradient, any one gradient that you want, uh, I'll choose If you go here, uh, then you will get gradients. Then I will try one of metal. Then fruits and vegetable. Fates. Metals. I just forgot what I I was used. So I will try this new one like this. That's nice. Then I will use this. Okay. Mm, close it. Mm, now set the angle for this gradient. I want uh, 90 degree. Mm, opposite. I want. That's nice. Now hit delete. Uh, now choose the center point. Now hit delete button on the on this side. That's nice. Now choose this another. Now choose this picker tool, click on there, and then you will get the same gradient on here. Now I want to 
dark this color that's nice now close it similarly select this gradient picker tool click on there you will get this uh, I want uh, 45 reverse it that's nice um, now again choose dark color Okay, mm. I will try the angle for this. I will try forty five, then minus forty five. Whenever you move the mouse near about this point, then you will get this round arrow and uh, just set it forty five degree. Uh, similarly on this side that's nice that's very nice okay mm. now select this now make a copy edit copy then again go to edit then paste in front now hold the shift and alt and set its position now whenever I have leave the shift and alt now if you move the mouse nearby this anchor point you will get this arrow now move it and press shift on the keyboard that's very nice okay uh, I will make another copy for the same now click 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 shift I have press shift or you can use this that's nice then again edit copy then paste in front now again set it okay now select all now go to this pathfinder now divide each one of the segment now I will delete the center points click uh, I will choose direct selection tool click on there hit delete again click on there hit delete click on hit delete three times I have to delete because uh, I have three layers each one now. Okay, that's nice. Now choose this pen tool, click on there, hit delete. Choose direct selection tool, click on there, hit delete. the logo now I will make a shadow for this on the bottom of this now I will go to this ellipse tool now make a circle on here press alt on the keyboard or alt shift now choose gradient I want gradient small gradient very small gradient I want uh, real black to white reverse it in the center I want something like grey that's nice now click the selection tool position it here Um, 
I will choose this white brick. Now I can add a white hair. Okay, now I will save this file. Go to this file. Save as I choose the location logo plus one. Okay, save it. Click on OK. Now I will directly go to the this Adobe After Effect. Now you can grab this tutorial in the next part.